Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel, Metallurgical Engineering. Today in this video, we will see about isomorphous system and some concept of tie line and lever rule. What is the use of tie line and what is the use of lever rule? So let us start with the isomorphous systems. So in the simplest binary phase diagram is for a system exhibiting complete liquid solubility as well as solid solubility so this is called isomorphous system and this is also this comes under binary diagram so, so binary isomorphous okay so isomorphous system to indicate that the crystal structures of the two components of the two components and the solid solution are the same the means of isomorphous means the crystal structure of the two components and solid solution are the same that is why this is isomorphous system so here I notice here I mentioned two component two component system so this is binary two component system and the crystal structure of two component and this solid solution are the same that is why this is isomorphous binary isomorphous system now we will see one example as uh, i have already drawn one diagram here so this is uh, isomorphous binary phase diagram here y axis is temperature and x axis is a, a element that is nickel so it is uh, in weight percent so we will see that these are the nodes so we will also see what are these nodes called and what are these lines okay so this is l means liquid phase this is alpha solid phase this is two phase region liquid plus alpha this is two phase region this single phase region this is all single phase region this is called liquidus this is called solidus so what is the difference between liquidus and solidus so first the liquid and the solid regions this liquid region and the solid region are separated by a two phase region that is l plus alpha okay liquid phase region and solid phase region alpha is separated by a two phase region this is a two phase region okay so here where both the phases liquid and alpha coexist so this is this makes the solid solution so the boundary between the two phase the boundary between the two phase region and liquid phase is known as
liquids okay same as so this one liquids okay same as the boundary between two phase region that is l plus alpha and solid that is alpha phase called as or known as solidus okay and we will see also one more point here that in certain systems the liquidus and solidus may coincide at some position and the alloy of that composition melts and solidifies at constant temperature like pure metal so in that case this uh, liquid and solidus may coincide at some point and the alloy of that composition melts and solidifies at a constant temperature like a pure metal without passing from a two phase reason so such compositions such compositions are called called to be congruently melting conditions or compositions so this is the congruently melting condition now we will see what is the tie line okay so the composition of the phases in two phase region are not equal okay like we have seen here the composition in two phase region this two phase region okay this is not equal because if two elements a and b are there like we have taken copper and nickel for an example so what will happen that uh, let us just take an example of nickel so nickel will redistribute in different concentrations in hmm? two phase region okay so this distribution so this redistribution will be calculated by 
ट्राई लाइन एंड टू फेज रीजन सो दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ ट्राई लाइन नाउ यू विल सी द डायग्राम दिस इज द ट्राई लाइन ओके बिफोर एक्सप्लेनिंग द ट्राई लाइन आई वुड लाइक टू ऑल्सो सी दीज नोट सो दीज आर द टर्मिनल सॉलिड सोल्यूशन ओके सो हियर दिस इज प्योर निकिल सो दिस इज फोर्टीन फिफ्टी थ्री डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टेम्परेचर एंड हियर शुड बी वन जीरो एट थ्री डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड दिस इज द प्योर कॉपर ओके नाउ let us just take this line this is the tie line so suppose if uh, there is a temperature t suppose this is some 1300 degree centigrade temperature so corresponding to, to this liquid as the composition is cl okay corresponding to this solid as composition is cs and this is the alloy composition c not okay so cl is around 46 degree centigrade nickel rest of 54 percent is copper cs is 58 percent nickel 42 percent so the tie line is applicable only for overall composition overall composition of the alloy lies along the tie line okay within two phase reason this is important to remember okay now we will see what is lever rule okay so lever rule tells about the relative amount Co-existing phases at a specified temperature. Okay. So, li uh, lever rule tells about the relative amount of co-existing phases at a specified temperature. So, the tie line is taken to be a lever arm. like with the help of tie line we can utilize the we can utilize this tie line for calculating the relative amount of phases in lever rule okay so suppose these are some points some any point like p q okay this may be you can take as a a okay so now we will see so the solid and the liquid solid and liquid compositions like cs and cl these lie at the p and q point actually here this p point is cl okay so this we can write it like cl and cs okay this is cs this is cl so the cl is p and this is q okay and the alloy composition is a c not we have mentioned like this so the fraction of the liquid okay so the fraction of
liquid suppose we are taking as f1 will come as so to see the fraction of liquid we will see here that this portion upon this total length so a q upon p q okay a q upon p q or we can say that this is c s minus c naught upon c s minus c l okay this is the fraction of the liquid same way we can take out the fraction of solid that is f s okay so this is f s it will come out like c naught minus c l upon c s minus c l or this will be p a upon p q okay so it must be very clear that what is the difference between tie line and lever roll so the tie line gives concentration of the component in each phase okay and about the lever rule we will say that lever rule gives the fraction of the uh, phases that is relative amount of phases so this is the basic difference between tie line and lever rule okay so this is uh, all about today's video we can take the recap that what is the binary isomorphous diagram what is binary isomorphous diagram so this is the definition then we see the binary isomorphous diagram here what is these points okay what is single phase region what is dual phase region and what is the solidus liquidus and uh, what is congruent melting and then we see what is tie line and the use of tie line okay use of tie line also we have seen here next uh, we saw about the lever rule so what is lever rule actually and how to utilize the lever rule for taking out the fraction of liquid and fraction of solid in a two phase region okay so this is the basic difference between tie line and lever rule concentration of the component in each phase can be calculated with the help of tie line and fraction of the phases can be calculated with the help of lever rule okay so kindly stay connected and uh, like share subscribe our channel thank you